Good morning everybody and welcome to my new blind playthrough of Earthbound. This is quite an odd game for me since I've never really heard of it before. The only thing I do know about this game is that it's part of a series and some of the characters have ended up in the Super Smash Bros. series. So I'm quite new to this so don't expect me to be all knowledgeable and so on. This is going to be a straight up blind playthrough and we're going to get started right now with a new game. Please select text speed. Well, I think we'll go fast, thank you. Um, please select sound, yes, stereo, G good. Ooh, which style of windows? Well, we hate the fuck out of bananas, so I think we'll go for mint. Who doesn't love a bit of good old minty flavour? What shall our name be? Hmm. Well, I usually go with this name because I know it's going to happen. It's going to be a disaster, so I think we'll go with that today. So this is going to be a complete fuck up of a playthrough, but you know what? Enjoy it. Enjoy the failure, and feel free to leave comments if you want to help me. Right then. So where's the T? Shit. Um. <laughs> yes, I do not know the alphabet, and we can't disaster. Yes. You know what? That's going to be our name, disaster, because it can't fucking spell disaster because there's not enough letters in the name. God damn it! But here we go. Are we naming all of you fuckers? How many are you? Um. Uh. Berry? We'll go with Berry, why not? I'm just trying to think of names here. This is. What. What even? Why? I guess it's quite cool that you get to individually create your characters, customize them up yourself. Name your friend. Ass. Or Ash. Because Ass. Ass, yes, ass. Ass will be his name. Oh, we don't care. Oh, I didn't realise that. You know what? Screw this. I don't care. No. Screw you. Poo. Ass poo? Why not? Sounds a good name. And here we go. We have a dog. We are naming our pet. We'll call him... Um, ass poo. It's... It, I feel as though there's a theme going on here, but I think we'll go with don't care yet again. King. Ass Poo King. Yes, I like this. I can see where this is going. We're naming our food now. Come on. Um. Ass Flavor? Ass Flavor Soup? We'll call it soup. No, we can't call it soup. That's boring as shit. Um. Yet again, I'm going to go with random because I don't really care. Steak. Yeah, I like steak. Let's go with it. What's your favorite thing? Wow. Wow. I'm sorry, but this is getting a bit too much for me. Um, bread. Why not? Why not? Even that is food, and I could have said that before, but we'll go with bread. I didn't mean to go back, shit. Uh, bread. We want bread, damn it. Bread sticks all the way. Come on. Right. By the way, I am playing this on the Wii U gamepad, and I really do like it. It's better than playing it over... Was this on the SNES, if I remember rightly? I'm, I, yet again, as I say, I don't know anything about this game. So, here we go. We are have our party assembled now, all fully customised. So we have disaster, berry, ass, and poo. King, steak, and bread. Wow. Well, this is going to be great. So let's get on going.
Okay, so here we are, we can move about. It seems as though we've just awoken from our slumber and something made a big fucking noise. Let's go check it out, shall we? So, um, do I live alone? Am I a kid? I think I'm a child. Yes, um, is this my parent? Um, yeah, go on, we can talk to her. Hey bro, did the sound wake you up? Why are you freaked out? Um, a little. Okay, so that's our sister. Right then. Um, I can't talk to a door, I'd like to leave, thank you. There we go. So we're going to check out what this sound was. I still have no idea what it could be, but I'm guessing we're going to find out. Why is she walking to a wall? Um, okay, let's try talking to her. No, talk to me. Right. What was that noise? Disaster, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? Well, I do have nuts. And now you want to go check it out? Oh, okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I asked you not to. At least change out your jammies before you go out. Oh. Wow, what a caring parent. Okay, so here we are. Um, we have got changed now and we can go check out what that big bloody noise was. I don't really know why we couldn't just go out in our jammies anyway. It wouldn't be that cold. It's to get that hot, nice jammy feel going outside. Jammies, fucking jammies. Pajamas, damn it. But let's see what the dog's up to. If I remember right, Liz and this dog ass. Besides humans, dogs always sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? Um, because I heard a big bloody noise. Why are you asleep? Right. No, I don't want to talk to the door. I would like to leave. I'm guessing we don't have to interact with it by air. I think we just walk into it. That could be where I'm cocking up here. But um, we're outside, and it looks as though it's made quite an in- Wow, there's police here. Shit, what's going on? Don't panic, it's just a- What? Meteorite? Who? Fell? I just wanna- What? Go home. Wow, that's um great police work there, pal. Yes, I feel so secure now, don't I? So safe. It's much safe. Honored police are infamous for closing roads if something is going on. We are going for the world record. And I can see that being a pain in the ass in the late game, but oh well. Who's this random fellow? I want to return home, but the road is closed. People are taking the meteorite situation too seriously. It's a fucking meteorite! You're not supposed to just lie down and say, oh, it's a meteorite. Tough shit. Bacon on butties. But oh well. Who are you talking to? I was, I was trying to read the billboard. Can I read it? No, we can only talk to it. So, oh well. So this is our house yet again, but um, yeah, we're going to go past it now. Is this one of our friends? I don't remember seeing him. Did you hear the big bang? I think a meteorite landed nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I'm going to try to be the first to get there. Well, the police have already freaking seen it, you asshole, so you aren't the first. Maybe this is our friend's house, perhaps? Let's see. Maybe we have to gather the gang together. Oh, hi. Pokey, my brother, ran out of here to chase after a police car. He said, Picky, you should stay home. So I'm home watching our house. Mom and Dad aren't home yet. They went out to an elegant restaurant. Well, that's good, isn't it? Leaving your youngest brother inside just... Who, who could break in? Nobody. It's a meteorite. I think people would take advantage of the situation and just cause a massive ass riot and just rob people. Knowing it, that would probably happen. But I guess this is looking to be quite a small town in the middle of the woods. I'm not sure, though. It was a city, if I remember rightly. Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home, pronto. Well, fuck you, sir. But as you can see, that was our health, I'm guessing, and money. So um, money's going to be a big factor in this game. Well, it's an RPG from what I know. A JRPG, I should say. A meteorite has landed. The sharks are running wild in town. Sharks? You kids are wandering around and... I'm hungry. I hate my job. I understand that feeling, but why are you hungry when you should be protecting us, you fuckers? It's dangerous to go to the hilltop. Even I advise you not to go. It won't stop you, will it? Well, screw you, sir. I'm going anyway. Ah, uh, screw you guys. I'm going to check it out. Oh, present. Oh. So I've not really talked much about what I'm feeling so far. It's inter an interesting start there, and I'm liking the whole layout and how it showed us the city at the beginning slash town. I'm not sure yet. Hey, you! Don't you know what time it is? Well, uh, I, I kind of do, but I'm just wondering. I'm taking a stroll. Fuck you, police. I'm going to check out what this is. Oh, present. This is the same present I was looking at before. Can we open it? Um. Okay, check. Open the present. There is a bread roll inside. 
Why would you take a bread roll out of a box just laying in the middle of a forest? But funnily enough, I was talking about bread rolls earlier, but I guess that fits. Is this, um, is this it? No, it's just some random guy. Let's see what he's up to. Hey, buddy. A meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help me help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you, whoops, I almost told you about my, uh, by the way, did you check my billboard? I wrote for message myself. That's my real job, you know. I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? Well, you're a very interesting fellow, aren't you now? Oh yeah, we can check the billboard, can't we not talk to it? Treasure Hunter, this is a layer. Agrid to the Okay, right, screw that. Moving on, it's not important, we don't care. Let's see what this guy's up to. That meteorite looks different than usual. It's strange and marvellous as well as mysterious. Mysterious, ooh. Mysterious, <laughs> fucking hell this isn't Pokemon. I'm guessing this is one of my friends creeping out of the policeman by talking to them at the middle of the night. Yes. Disturbing the police. Hey, don't be rubbernecking, you're getting in the cops. Oops, I mean officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. Oh, am I now? I think you're the one doing that, mate. F off. Nice timing, disaster. Will you- oh, disaster. fucking hell. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? Um. Uh, I guess I don't really want to be though. And you live in the house to next house to house next to his, I see. Yes. Is that all you wanted to ask me? Okay. Clear out. Get out of my way. Clear out. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Fool. Clear out. Out of my. Okay. Whoops. My mistake. I mean, get out of my way. No need to keep repeating yourself. You're getting yourself confused. Shh. Shh. Wow. Um, yeah, so I'm guessing that's the meteorite up there. It's some guys looking out with a cop. I don't know really how to get up there though, because they are currently blocking the road. You can go home now. Tomorrow I, Pokey, will t Yes, 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 we know this. So, I don't believe we can get up there yet. Do we have to find a way around, or do we just go home? Hmm. Maybe we can find a way around it? It doesn't look as though there is. But, um, I'm going to see if we can go home. Maybe sleep it off till morning, and then in the morning we can come check out what this meteorite has done exactly. Has it brought a new life form? Or something like that? Okay, this was the guy we talked to earlier. My mistake. Um, I'm getting a bit lost. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. This is the way back into town, if I remember correctly. Yeah, again, I'm still not sure if it's a town, village, or a city, but I probably showed it during the intro. And I was trying to pay attention, but obviously I forgot once again. Oh, it's my mother. Hello. Welcome home. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off the bed now. Uh, I guess. We've been rooting around a lot. We may as well get some sleep and wake up in the morning. Later that night. Oh, what's happening now? Yet again, we have woken up. Why, I do not know. I'm having a bad night tonight, by the looks of it. Nope. Screw you all, I'm going outside. There is no need to talk to any of you. Oh. Nope, we don't want to talk to you either. Or, will she advise us to get changed again? My land, who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Would you answer it? Um, I guess. But, since you have a parent, shouldn't you? Oh, it's my friend. I Echo, is it? Uh, hey, l listen to what I've got to say. When I took Picky to the place where the meteorite landed, oh, good evening, Ma. You're looking lovely as usual, Snigger. Anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks. They're the local ruffians. And they were really going wild. Suddenly I noticed that Picky was gone. I thought for a moment there were sharks that could walk on land, but oh well. I blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Picky? Uh, nah, he's screwed, but we'll help. Go for it. Okay, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Uh, before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mum? Don't you agree, mum? Do I have to? I guess so. 
Uh, I know what for dog is un. I know the do that for dog is unreliable, but you should take King along. For cr cracked bat in Tracy's room could help out at a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. So um, yes, that's um very inspirational, mother. Kind words, very kind words. I don't really know why we're wandering the streets at night, though we could possibly meet up with these sharks and they could kill us, but oh well. But now we are in our sister's room and we supposedly have a weapon here of some sort. There is a cracked bat inside. Okay, a cracked bat. That will really help. Why can't we just have a baseball bat which works? But this is the infamous weapon, I believe. That you will always see Ness. Is it, am I right? That should be his real name. Always has. From the Super Smash Bros. season. We're curling that from. But um, can we get going now? Sorry about giving you this game type advice. But you should equip your weapon. Do you know what equip means? Yes, I do. You hold it. Okay, that's good. Be sure to pay attention to details like that. Alright, you go out in front and I'll follow at a safe distance. Let's get going. Okay, so we have gained our friend, I guess. He joins our party. But, um, right, once again, equip. Here we go. But we have no weapon or armor of any sort at the moment, so we'll grab the bat. Our menacing weapon, which everyone will be so afraid of. And the phone's ringing! Holy shit. Who could that be? Answered the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. Wow, thanks. Do you have an ATM card? Um, I don't think so. Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero, at least. Wahaha, slam. Oh, that, that's so kind, father. But, um, yes, uh, our parents seem to be pushing us forward for some type of adventure. I don't know why, though, because I've just awoken from my slumber. And I'm just fucking wandering around. That does a fucking bird. Um, hey, bird. Oh, shit. Um, I think this is an enemy. Crap. You engage the bird, the evil fucker. Um, I don't really know how to fight, but I'm guessing there will be a tutorial at some point. But we'll go for it anyway. Let's beat it up. Oh, eight. Oh, shit. Ah, nice. Always cry. For it's getting. No, well, we think it's. Maybe if we run away, it won't follow us. Tried to get away, but couldn't. Oh, that's great. He's playing dead. I like this guy's strategy. Let's beat him up. Come on. We can do this. Oh. Was that one hit kill? No, well, it's two hit kills actually. Let's just keep beating it up. It seems though we're doing alright. Shit, this one's a speedy fucker. Let's get him again. Oh, we're getting screwed over here. This crow has a lot of health, but it seems as though we have won our very first battle. We gained 3 XP, the enemy left the present. Inside the present, for us a cookie? Holy shit! Wow, this game loves giving out presents, doesn't it? But um, I think we'll try and avoid battles from now on, since we're not very good at them at the moment. But I like my friend's strategy, playing dead, trying to cry. That's what I'd do. Very smart guy. And then we just ran him with a baseball bat and kicked the living shit out of that bird. But um, by the looks of it, we are off to find this meteorite. Nope! Oh, shit. You had to get in the way, didn't you? My bloody friend. Fucking hell. Right, let's beat this little fucker up again. What? Did he just apologize to the bird? Why? Oh. This has got to be one of the most bizarre combat I've ever experienced in a game. Oh shit, we're about to die. Um, do we have goods? Health, perhaps? Yes, bread roll. That's all we need. Full health? Oh shit. Um. Oh, nice. That was a lot of health. Full health yet again. We can beat this little bastard up now. It's not too powerful, but I'm guessing we're going to come up against stronger enemies later on in the game, because, well, it wouldn't really be much of a game if we didn't. Poke well, you don't need enemies, but screw it. Right, this crow's a little bastard, but we killed him, and we are done. 
Do we get another present? Oh yes, cookies. Hopefully they are just as good as bread rolls. And we are now level 2. Our offense went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 3. PP went up by 1. Realize the power of life up. What? Okay. Uh, yeah. Sure. So, as we are making our way to this meteorite, it looks as though there's a lot of foes. Holy shit, that's a fast snake! Fuck! How are we supposed to get past that little fucker? Hopefully he's not poisonous, because um, I don't think there's a hospital nearby, so we'd probably die. I don't think we have much of a chance of running away, so we just have to beat this little fucker down. Shit, it's dealing quite a lot of damage. They have quite a lot of health in comparison to us, I've noticed. We seem to be quite low on health as well at this moment. Oh, what? We got a critical hit by the looks of it. And we have been... We have been? We are victorious! With shit all XP gained. Great. Um, right. We need to get some goods and heal up a bit before our next battle, because you know that's going to come at some point. Six H... Is that it? Fuck off. Six HP my ass. Right. So let's go check it. Oh shit, there's a rabbit! There's a fucking rabbit! Ah, fuck, we're getting killed by everything! The wildlife just freaking hates us today, doesn't it now? Here is- Oh shit, it's runaway dog! Crap. Um, can we run away? Oh crap, we're dead. We are so dead. Oh what? Uh, defend, yes. Does defending do any good? Uh, I guess. Let's heal up a bit. And we're dead. Yep, we died. We died. Wow. That was our first death. It looks like you got your head, hand, ha, uh, head handed to you. So, how was about giving it another shot? Well, yeah, we'll go for it. So we have summoned up the courage to take on our journey yet again. This is quite a nice um, death scene, I guess. Where will we end up, I wonder? Back in the house? Yeah, so we have just answered the phone by the looks of it, and we are now, once again, making our way on our adventure. But, um, yes, after that embarrassing death, I don't think you're supposed to die that easily this early on. I think I'm going to leave it here. So, we have met our pr main protagonist and his friend, I guess, and there's been a mysterious meteorite landing. So, um, with that all said and done, next time we'll be looking at this meteorite, hopefully if we can ever get past these bloody powerful enemies, even though they're bloody dogs and fucking birds, but yes, hopefully we'll get onto that. So, I thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time for some more Blind Earthbound.